got multiplication? Well, don't panic, because we've got math hacks. Welcome to Math Hacks. We're gonna try to get you out of the school of Johann Gottlieb Fitch and into the school of Archimedes. Now, to be most effective at solving multiplication, you can't just rely on one method. There's no one hack that can beat all of multiplication. Instead, you must use a collection of skills to beat multiplication. Using multiple hacks and mathematical insight, defeat your opponent. Instead of an all-out frontal attack, you must find weaknesses in your opponent's defenses and exploit them to quickly solve the problem in the least amount of time and effort. Sensei Math Hacker shall soon show you how to combine techniques to conquer the math. But first, you must master the basics. Memorize this table of 100 facts while I sit here and contemplate your progress. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, wait a minute, that's not a hundred facts. A little less than half of that is just repeats, so let's just get rid of that. And it's kind of obvious how to multiply by one, I mean, it's just the same number you put in. And multiplying by ten is just as easy, I mean, you just put a zero behind the number. And Multiplying by 2 is also pretty easy, so let's just get rid of that. It's just double the number. So, what do we have left? We've, we've only got 28 numbers to memorize. That's a little more than one-fourth of what we had before. And some of these are pretty easy to memorize. I mean, the squares are pretty easy to memorize. And so are the multiples of 5. So if we don't count those, then all we have is 15 facts to memorize. And there's a pretty nifty hack that calculates the single-digit multiplications of 9. So let's go through an example. Let's go through 9 times 4. Here's how the hack goes. The tens digit of the answer is 1 less than the number you're multiplying 9 by. So 1 less than 4 is 3. The ones digit is the complement of the number that you're multiplying 9 by. So 6 plus 4 equals 10. And here's an interesting thing. The two digits of the answer add up to 9. They always add up to 9. So by using this hack, we can pretty much count the 9s out. And what do we have left? Let's see, only 10 numbers to memorize. That's not bad. But what if I told you that some schools required you to memorize your multiplication tables up through 20? That's just ridiculous. I am not amused. But hold on a second, you don't have to memorize all of this. You can calculate the one digit by two digit multiplication problems pretty fast and quickly enough. And as we just went over, the 10 by 10 square is pretty much just 10 facts, so we can count that out too. But now we're left with this 10 by 10 square of ugliness. We've got to deal with the 2 by 2 multiplications. How are we going to make that easy? By using a hack, of course. Let's see the example 14 times 15. Now the first step is to take one of the numbers and add it to the ones digit of the other number. So 14 plus 5. The better way to think about it is that you're adding 14 to however far away 15 is from 10. So that adds up to 19. The next step is to multiply 19 by 10 which is pretty easy, that's just 190. Next, you multiply the ones digits of the original problem together. In this case, 4 times 5. The better way to think about this is that you're multiplying the distance each number is from 10. So anyway, 4 times 5 equals 20. What do we do now? We add 190 to 20, which gives us 210. And that's the answer. 
No need to memorize ugly blocks of numbers. Hold on, what about those 1 by 2 multiplications? Those two blocks that I just so casually dismissed earlier. Well, there are actually quite a few hacks for those. The simplest way to go about it is just multiplying from left to right. So, 8 times 10 equals 80, and 8 times 4 equals 32. And then all we have to do is add it together, and the answer is 112. That's the simplest way to do it, utilizing only the hack of doing it from left to right. But there are lots of other hacks. Let me just show you a kind of familiar one here on 4 times 38. What you can do is you can round 38 up to 40. 4 times 40 equals 160. But you multiplied 4 2 times too many. So you have to subtract 2 times 4, which is 8, which gives you a final answer of 152. There is yet another hack that you can use. Let me just show it to you through 24 times 6. You can factor 24 into 4 times 6 to get the problem 4 times 6 times 6. Or you can factor 24 into 3 times 8. So you get the problem 3 times 8 times 6. Both of these are equivalent to the original problem. But which one will you choose? You must choose one of these paths to solve the problem. This is where you must use your mathematical insight. I chose 3 times 8 times 6. Why did I choose that? Because I know that 8 times 6 equals 48. And 48 is pretty close to 50. So let's just round it up to 50. And then we have 3 times 50. That's as easy as 3 times 5, which equals 15. So the answer is 150 minus 2 times 3, which is 6. 150 minus 6, that's easy, that's 144. And that's the answer, 144. Now, I know that last method wasn't all that efficient, but for larger problems like 2 digit times 2 digit multiplication, it's going to be a real lifesaver. So with that, let's transition on into some of those 2 digit by 2 digit multiplications. First, let's look at 37 times 32. They're both relatively close to 30. One is 7 away and the other is 2 away. So we can do something similar to what we did earlier. We take 37 and add the distance 32 is away from 30 to it. So in this case, it's 37 plus 2. And we multiply the result of that by 30, the number that they're both close to. So we get 39 times 30. 39 is pretty close to 40, though. So we can do 40 times 30 minus 30. Either way, the answer is 1,170. Now all we have to do is multiply the distance each of the two original numbers are away from 30. So 37 is 7 away, and 32 is 2 away. So we get 7 times 2. And that equals 14. Next, we add 14 to 1,170. And that's an easy addition problem. We get 1,184, and that's the answer, 1,184. Now, here's a little different problem. Here's 32 times 28. They're both pretty close to 30, just like the last problem. One's to above 30, and the other is to below 30. So this time, you do 32 minus 2, since 28 is 2 below 30. And then you get 30 times 30. That's pretty easy. That's 900. And now you multiply the distances both numbers are away from 30. So 32 is 2, and 28 is negative 2 away from 30. So negative 2 times 2 equals negative 4. 900 minus 4 is 896. And that's the answer, 896. Now that you have become aware of the techniques of hacking multiplication,
presentation, I shall show you how to combine them to solve problems efficiently. Therefore, I call upon the example of 28 times 42. First, you must observe the problem and see what its properties are. You could do 40 times 20 plus 40 times 8, but wait, you get smacked with memory limitations. Not counting zeros, there are seven digits in there, so you're already at your maximum. Try to do something else, and you might forget something. Unless you have paper to write it down somewhere, you need to take the path of math. You kind of have to take a journey through the problem, changing it into different forms and making it easier for you. So as we go through this journey, I'm going to erase things as they become irrelevant. So essentially, it'll be the same as forgetting them. So let us begin by seeing that 28 can be factored and 42 can be factored. 28 can be factored into 4 times 7 and 42 can be factored into 7 times 6. 7 times 7 equals 49. So we get the problem 49 times 6 times 4. 49 is close to 50, so we can round that up and do 50 times 6. And we get 300 minus the extra 6 that we added times 4. And now we can do 4 times 300 minus 4 times 6, and get the problem 1,200 minus 24. 24 is close to 30, so we do 1,200 minus 30 to avoid borrowing, and get the problem 1,170 plus 6, which is the complement of 24 to 30. The answer is 1,176. Nowhere in that journey did you ever have to remember more than four non-zero digits at a time. This combined technique journey does require some training, but with a little bit of practice, you can get it down to where you're doing it faster than any other technique. Looking to follow the path of math? Do you want a karate chop division? Well then, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button! Get all the latest notifications on all the newest videos. Stick to the path, and as always, keep on hacking!